Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some empties that I have accumulated over the past few months um, and really some of them have taken me like a year to get through. So um, let's start going through this big bag of empties. Um, thank you to J. Crew for making such sustainable uh, bags for us to carry along our trash in. So let's just jump right in to a few things that I have gotten rid of lately. First thing that I used up was a Fix Plus. I use this on all my clients to set their makeup, to hydrate their face. I use this on myself to do the same thing. I love this product. If you if you guys do not own Fix Plus, um, you need it in your life. You can wet your brush, make any eyeshadow go on so much more pigmented than just like a regular powder. Um, it's really a versatile product. So I suggest all of you guys, if you do not have Fix Plus, to purchase this guy right here. Okay, this is I love this product. I've raved about this before. It is the, um, I think I say this wrong, but we'll go with it. It's the La Acetane uh, Almond Shower Oil. So I have these when I was traveling in and out of California, Georgia, things like that. I carried this and it's just a wonderful um, shower oil that leaves my skin hydrated, but not too greasy, um, not greasy at all really, and it lathers pretty well. So I love this product. The smell is absolutely fantastic. Okay, next thing up, we have my Skimple, <laughs> Skimple, <laughs> we have my Simple Radiance Cleansing Wipes. I have raved about these before. Sorry, the light is so bright hitting that. Um, these are just awesome makeup wipes. A few of you have gotten these on my recommendation and you love them. So if you haven't tried these out, you can get them at your local Walgreens or um, Ulta, I think, has these, but you can just order them on Amazon in bulk and get them a little bit cheaper. I love these products. I'll leave the link for these down below if you guys want to try them out. They're fairly inexpensive. Okay, so this guy I had a sticker on it right here if you're seeing that nasty mess. But this is the St. Ives. It's a spray lotion. So a fresh hydration lo lotion, oatmeal, and shea butter. Um, this was great for the summertime because I didn't want to feel greasy. Um, and it was just a really nice lightweight moisturizer. Let's see, uh, naturally soothing, feels light and pure on skin. Fast absorbing, non-greasy, 100% natural moisturizers. I love this stuff. It works great. This isn't enough for me in the fall and winter. I do have to have a little bit thicker, more emollient uh, product to moisturize my skin on my body. But this is great for summertime. And if you have like... Um, acne prone back or like you have acne on your chest or just like little bumps this would be great for you to try out um it's just a wonderful wonderful moisturizer for like sensitive skin and stuff like that so if you need a lightweight moisturizer this is your guy okay so one of my favorite all-time favorite uh perfumes is the turquatic by mac i wear this Oh, I wear this stuff so much, but I go through it so fast, so um, it's hard for me to keep it, like, you know, keep it going. Um, it's their tur Turquatic by MAC. I love this stuff. It comes in a large size, a medium size, and a rollerball. You guys maybe remember when they came out with all of those scents. Um, they're like vanilla and a floral one. This is the only one that they kept because it was the most popular. So if you've not tried this out, this stuff is amazing. I think it's like $30. It's very inexpensive. That's why I like to purchase it is because I don't feel as bad using it all the time um, and it's not expensive so I can replenish it without feeling totally guilty. Uh, but this is a really great fresh scent. Oh, it's like I can't even describe to you guys how amazing that this stuff smells. You guys know I love the Beach Walk by I think it's Replica. This stuff it's just my favorite. It's my absolute favorite scent for summer. I love this. Um, I don't know if this is TMI, but this is the deodorant that I use. Um, it's the Mission Clinical 
for women, 48 hour protection and um, powder fresh. This is really the only scent that I can ever find. I don't necessarily like the powdery scent, like baby powder, but it's the only scent I can really find. So this is the clinical. So this keeps me from sweating, um, keeps me from smelling and all that stuff. So if you guys need a good deodorant that, you know, will work really well, this is the the only one that i found that works the best for me. And I've tried literally every single kind of deodorant under the sun, men's deodorant, women's, natural, all that stuff. This is the only one that works for me. So that's the Mitchum Clinical 48 Hour Protection. Okay, so I have a sample of the Glam Glow, um, I guess it's the Youth Cleanse. This is the Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. Anti-aging, fine lines, smoothing, glowing, um, green tea leaf, teoxy. I don't know. Um, it was okay. It, nothing, it, nothing was amazing about it. it. Cleaned my skin. It got the dead skin off. Um, but it was. It's not something that wowed me that I would purchase again. It, it didn't make me want to purchase the full size. So I probably wouldn't buy that. But it was okay. Okay. This sample, when I ordered like all my skincare stuff from Brianna at Premier Look, um, this is a sample that I got and let me tell you, first let me tell you what it is. It's the Clinician's, Clinician's Complex Microdermabasion Cream. It's, okay, let me just explain to you, this is the difference between medical grade skincare and regular Sephora, drugstore, all those different skincares that you can get, you know, at the grocery. Um, this stuff is amazing. I ordered the full size. Um, I can't even tell you the grit of this is so fine, but there's so much of the grit in there that, I mean, it's like a new face after you have used this and after you've washed it off. Use this like two times a week if you have like dry skin and you're using your Retin-A and trying to get that off. Um, it's a design to improve skin's appearance and texture utilizing super exfoliating diamond shaped crystals. Results can be seen and felt immediately. It's designed for use on the face, neck, hands, body, leaving skin feeling silky smooth and revitalized and it does every single one of those things. I'm going to leave the link for this down below. I highly, highly, highly recommend this product. Out of any of these products that I'm showing you today, this is one that you guys need in your skincare regimen. I cannot tell you enough good things about this product. You just have to try it for yourself. It's amazing. For a little bit of shampoo and conditioner, this is the second or third round of this shampoo and conditioner that I have used. Um, I'm currently on a different one. I'll be doing an up updated fall hair care uh, video for you guys soon, but this is the Pureology Strength Cure um, shampoo and conditioner. So I've used the full line of this, um, this, this, the shampoo, the conditioner, and the split in mender. I'm still using the split in mender. Um, this stuff is great. If you have fine hair like me and you have damaged hair, this is um, said to said to be used for treating micro scarred damaged color treated hair. Um, again, this is a product I could sit here and rave about it all day long, but it's done wonders for my hair. Um, I am not naturally blonde. As most of you know, you saw my, um, how I color my hair at home video. So you saw how dark my hair is and how I have to lighten it so much to get it to this shade of blonde. But, um, this is a great, great, great line. Um, I love most of Pureology's products. So if you're in the market for a good um, shampoo and conditioner, this is a great one to try. Okay, let's um, show you how much I love the MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil. I have four of them here. I go through these like so fast, I cannot even tell you. I, this is the perfect shade for me. Um, actually, I love this shade. But the NARS Caucus that I have showed you guys in previous videos, I found that it lasts me longer. It is an angled tip instead of a really, really skinny fine tip like this one. Um, and it matches 
the shade of my brow a lot better than the lingering. But before I found that, lingering was, I mean, I'm telling you, it was my go-to. I love this product. If you're at MAC and you have the same brow shade as me, give these guys a try or give this guy a try. I have four of them, so clearly I love them. But um, yeah, it's a great eyebrow product and it's fairly inexpensive. It's not drugstore inexpensive, but it's, you know, um, a little bit higher end inexpensive. So um, four of these guys I went through in no time at all. That's the MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil. So I have two lipsticks. Um, surprise, surprise, they're Japanese maple. So um, all of you ask me what my favorite lip combo is and it's hands down Japanese Maple over top of Strip Down by MAC, their lip liner. Um, usually in all my photos, this is what I'm wearing. All of my modeling photos because it's just enough color to give me some definition to my lips, but it's still really pretty nude flesh color um, and it's not like overpowering for when I take pictures so you're not you're noticing the lips but you're really noticing the shape of the lips and not like the color of the lips so it's a really really great lip lipstick it is um, a cream sheen so two Japanese maples that I went through and of course I already have backups of those um, let's see, this guy came with the kit that I got. It's the Purology Restorative Mask. I already have the large pot of this that you get at the Supply House. A great mask. I don't know that it's um, really that hydrating for, this, for the hair. It's more of like corrective, so you're not going to feel like you have like silky soft hair or at least I don't but I know that it's working because my hair has gotten a lot stronger so I recommend using all of those products together because they're all designed to work together um, so I really really like this product so I went through a NARS concealer this is the radiant creamy concealer in custard I already have a backup of this it's what I'm wearing today I absolutely love this concealer it's one of my favorites it's a doe foot applicator um, and the texture of this is amazing. You guys, I'm sure you've already tried this. I'm sure you have it in your collection. If you've forgotten about it, get it back out. Start using it. Thank me later. Um, if you haven't got it, pick it up. Thank me later. I love this concealer. It's amazing. Um, it's a little bit more light in texture and the formula than the Makeup Forever that I use sometimes. But this is a wonderful concealer. You guys will love it if you do not have it. Let's see, I went through a MAC, let's see, I'm not gonna get this everywhere, but a MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is what I use to contour my face and warm up my skin. Um, it's an NC45. I just ordered another one yesterday. So this just give you, gives your skin that airbrushed look. I don't know what it is that they use to make these Studio Fix um, powders but it's amazing I absolutely love this and even as a setting powder if you get the shade that actually matches your skin um, it's wonderful but this is what I use to contour out my cheekbones um, highlight you know um, I'm sorry contour my forehead my chin stuff like that it gives you just a beautiful finish to the skin um, if you have this pull it back out if not I suggest you picking it up because it's because it is really really amazing the next thing is this makeup forever HD foundation um, this is the old formula, the regular, in 127. So I ran out of this. Love this. Already have the Ultra HD that I've been using for a while. Um, I do, I don't know if I like it better. I, I think I do. I think I like the Ultra HD better. Um, but again, this is just a wonderful foundation. It's a staple in all makeup artist kits um, that I know of and it's a staple in my kit as well. It goes on so beautifully. It's what I have on today um, for film, camera, taking pictures, things like that, even everyday wear. It's amazing, amazing foundation. If you haven't tried it, please go get a sample of it at Sephora. It's an amazing foundation, and my shade is 127. So for my trusty Chanel Le Volume Mascara, you guys, this is what I'm wearing today. Love this mascara. Um, I have not found another mascara that works as well as this one. It does transfer on me, so I even probably have it underneath my eyes right now. 
but this foundation or I'm sorry this um, mascara is wonderful I love this mascara it's it's full it gives you really full lashes so if you don't like that look then you won't like this mascara but I let this dry out um, a little bit before I start using it so I'll leave it kind of like open a little bit overnight just that kind of pump it a little bit to get some air in there to dry it out just a little bit because at the beginning it's a little bit too slick um, like too much of a wet formula for me so I don't really like that so when it's gotten about a week old it's it's amazing so that wraps up my empties video I hope you guys found some things that um, you know that I love and have tried and tested and that you maybe want to try out too so there are a lot of great products if I had to suggest getting a few of them it would be um, the clinicians complex that exfoliating cream and let's see fix plus if you need a good shampoo try out that purology line it's amazing um, and again I can't really just pick any of these because these are it's kind of like a favorites video um, I kind of just love all these products except for you know give or take a few so hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching visit me on my blog arielsnyder.com I'll leave all the links to these products where you can purchase them down below in the description bar there's always fun information down there like what I'm wearing and stuff like that so be sure to check it out leave me a comment down below and I'll see you again real soon bye